Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, I'm going to tell you about matrices. Let's move on to see what are matrices. A matrix is an array of numbers organized in rows and columns and the numbers in a matrix are called elements of a matrix and at the same time these elements can be either numbers, algebraic symbols or even expressions. Now matrices are named using letters of English alphabet and most probably the letters must be capitals. And here are some examples for matrices and how they are written within square brackets. Now, the next part of this session is to study what is the order of the matrix. The order of a matrix refers to the number of rows and columns in a matrix. Now, if you take this example, the matrix A has two rows like this. So, we put two like this and then if you see the columns, it has very easily identifiable three columns so we put three like this and write two into three and this is the order of the matrix and we either write it as two into three or when we read it we can say this is a two by three matrix and then we are going to see the types of matrices the first type we are going to study is the row matrix if you see these matrix have only one row Look at these examples, they have only one row. And then the next type is the column matrix. If row matrix is a matrix with only one row, then definitely column matrix will be a matrix with only one column. So here are some examples. The next type of matrix we are going to study is square matrix. The square matrix, just like the square numbers, square numbers are arranged in squares, square matrices are arranged in squares as well. And that tells the number of rows and columns are equal in a square matrix like this. Now, if you take the matrix A, it has two rows and two columns and matrix B has three rows and three columns. So, if you write the order, it will be 2 by 2 in case of A and 3 by 3 in case of B. And the next type of matrix is identity matrix and that is little special. A square matrix whose main diagonal consists only the number 1. And the remaining elements are 0 is called an identity matrix. What is this? Look at these examples. Now, if you see carefully, here, these are the main diagonals of the two matrices C and D. The main diagonals contain only the number 1 and all the other elements in these matrices C and D are 0. So, this kind of matrices are called identity matrices. Moving on to the last type of matrix, that is the symmetric matrix. Once when you hear the term symmetric, that is uh, something equal in two sides. If the elements around the main diagonal of a square matrix are equal to each other and placed symmetrically, it is called a symmetric matrix. Now, in case of identity matrix and symmetric matrix, these two types always occur in square matrices you should keep that in your mind and look at these examples now in this case let's spot out the main diagonal in matrix a this is the main diagonal now look at the elements in either sides of this main diagonal both three so the elements are symmetric so that is why we call a as a symmetric matrix when you come to b let me mark the main diagonal again like this and look at the elements five and five on either sides either corners and one and one like this and then two and two like this you can see they are same at either sides of the main diagonal and thus these two matrices are called symmetric matrices next part is we are going to see how to add and subtract matrices now in this case you have to remember definitely to add or subtract the order of the matrices must be the same. Now, if you take an example like this, here if you take the two matrices that are being added, now in that case, this matrix is a 3 by 3 matrix 
and this is also a 3 by 3 matrix so the order is same and when it comes to adding the elements you have to add the corresponding elements of the two matrices to get the final answer now in that case here the first element of the first matrix is 3 and the first element of the second matrix is 1 so I write 3 plus 1 here and when you come to another element here in this case the middle element is 7 here it is 1 and therefore I write 7 plus 1 here and likewise all the 9 elements in both the matrices are added correspondingly it's very simple it's just simply addition and once when you add you get the answer as this now if you take 3 plus 1 is 4 very simple 7 plus 1 is 8 likewise all the elements here are added and the answers are taken here so this is how you add and if you are subtracting you do the same thing only the difference will be the sign will be the subtraction sign and you will get the answer once when you subtract the elements as given right so this is how to add or subtract matrices the next part is to find out how to study the equality of matrices now when it comes to the equality of matrices definitely once again the orders of the matrices must be same and then the corresponding elements are also same now look at this example find the values of the unknown terms in the two matrices if they are equal now they say these two matrices are equal and we are going to find out the unknown terms x y and z now first of all let us see what is the what are the corresponding elements now if you see 7 and x minus 3 are correspondent elements corresponding elements and since the two matrices are equal we can write x minus 3 is equal to 7 and thereby we can find out the value of x like this once simplified x is equal to 10 and moving on to the next one uh, they have given 9 and 6 plus y are the corresponding elements so they are also equal you can equate it like this and find out the value of y then y is supposed to be minus 1 and the next is to find out z 5 is equal to z minus 2 and once z is subjected you get the answer as z is equal to 7 fine let's move on to the next part so this is how you simplify uh, matrices if they are said to be equal and it is very simple just you have to identify the corresponding terms or elements and simplify Simplify. the next part is multiplication of matrices by a whole number or even if it is an unknown term the very simple thing you have to do is to multiply all the elements in the matrix by the given number or the unknown term now it's like this if you are going to multiply the matrix by 2 here you see very clearly that 2 into 1 is 2 and 2 into 2 is 4 and if you take 2 into this 1 is 2 here again likewise all the terms in this matrix is multiplied by 2 to get the answer of this question right moving on to the next part of this multiplication and that is multiplying a matrix by another matrix now in that case it is little uh, you have to understand carefully to multiply two matrices the number of columns in one matrix and the number of rows in the other must be equal now once when I say it like that you will not understand at once but when we go to an example you will understand it very clearly now see these two matrices and we are going to multiply them if you need to multiply these two matrices first of all you have to see whether it is possible to see whether it is possible you have to see the order of the two matrices now the order of the first matrix is 1 is to 2 1 into 2 and then the order of the second matrix is 2 into 1 now you can see the number of columns in the first matrix and the number of rows in the second matrix is equal I, I'll circle it like this right it is equal so we can do the multiplication we can proceed so then how to proceed the multiplication see what I have written what you have to do is you multiply each element in this in this row by the first column of this matrix now here I have written 5 into 2 plus 2 into 6 so it's very simple 5 into 2 and 2 into 6 we have to add and then 
The answer is 22. You know, 5 into 2 is 10. 2 into 6 is 12. 10 plus 12 is 22. Now, the other speciality in this case is if you take 22, it is a 1 into 1 matrix or 1 by 1 matrix and that is the remaining two values here. 1 and 1. Here the answer is 1 into 1. So, this is a very important relationship you have to identify when multiplication of matrices. We will go into a further complicated multiplication like this. The second example here. Now, if you say here, first of all, let us again consider whether this multiplication is possible. For that, first of all, we have to take the two orders of these two matrices. First is 2 into 3 and the second is... Uh, 3 by 3 matrix. Now you can see there is the number of columns in the first matrix and the number of rows in the second matrix are equal and again from this you have to identify since this is 2 and 3 remaining the answer of our simplification must be a matrix of order 2 by 3. The, keeping that in the mind let us move on to the simplification. First, this will be the expression once when you simplify. Uh, let me explain you how I get this. First, you consider the first row of the first matrix and the first column of the first second matrix. And now what you do is you multiply each term here by the element here. Now, if you take 5 into 2, here I have written 5 into 2 and then 2 into 6. With addition, you put 2 into 6 and then 2 into 3. Here, 2 into 3. So, this column this column is multiplied by the first row of this matrix. And you write all the terms or all the elements with addition symbol. And then the second part, the same row. Without changing the same row, we multiply by the second column of the matrix. Of the second matrix and write it here. Now if you see 5 into 1, I have written 5 into 1 here and then 2 into 2, 2 into 2 and then 2 into 2 again, 2 into 2 again with addition I have written and then the next part is written by multiplying the same row by this column here 5 into 1 the first term 5 into 1 plus 2 into this 0, 2 into 0 and then 2 into 4, 2 into 4 like this. So, this is how you do the multiplication and what you do is add all the multiplied elements. And when you come to the second line, you take the second row of the matrix and once again you follow the same previous method. You multiply the first column with the second row. Here 6 into 2, I have taken 6 into 2, 5 into 6 and 1 into 3. You can see it very clearly, 1 into 3. And then moving on to the second one, you multiply this same row by the second column. 6 into 1, 5 into 2 and 1 into 2. And then similarly the third one. 6 into 1, 5 into 0 and 1 into 4. Once when you do the simplification, you get the values like this. So, and then your answer will be like this. Now, if you see carefully, I told you at the beginning, the order of the matrix we get as the answer will be 2 by 3. Now, you see it's 2 by 3 matrix as we have written the answer now. So, hope you understood how to identify the types of matrices and do simplifications with matrices. See you with another Smart Math Tip. Until then, goodbye.